Yo, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and this is a quick explanation as to what all the values in noise gate uh, actually are and like you know, what they mean in OBS so that you can find values for yourself. And the reason I say find values for the yourself is because these values outside of maybe the attack time, which we'll explain later, should be different for everyone else. It'll be different based on your microphone, the way you speak, the loudness that you speak at, uh, the you know the noise, the way noise works in your room, the way it bounces off your computer, etc. Basically, it'll be different for everyone, at least to some degree. Even if you have the same microphone, no two same microphones are completely identical, and that difference could be enough that it might affect things for you. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go actually explain what all the different filters are. So first off, we have the open threshold, and this is when the microphone starts picking up audio, right? So the, I have it set at the lowest point I could ever be talking. So some days I speak quieter than others, some days I speak louder. Uh, and the idea is to have this low enough that it'll pick up all of that audio, but high enough that it won't pick up other noises, like you breathing, you know, your, your mouse and keyboard, just anything like that. And that's kind of the idea behind the open threshold. It also has this value called the attack time, which is how long uh, after the open threshold detects that audio level that it'll take to actually record the audio. Uh, and you do want, I found, and a lot of other people online have found and suggested, around, you know, 20, 25 milliseconds of attack time. Uh, and that's because when the mic first picks up that level of audio, a lot of time it'll make a sound that's kind of weird. And this small of an attack time will not affect how your voice actually sounds, but it'll be enough to get rid of that kind of weird sound it makes. Uh, then next up, we have the close threshold. And generally, you want this a little bit lower than the open threshold because what this does is it uh, closes off the audio once it reaches that level, right? And and you want that level to be a little bit lower so that it's basically when you stop speaking, it closes it off. And this one is associated with the other two values, the hold time and the release time. The hold time is how much longer after it stops hearing that level that it kind of holds on to the audio for. And the release time is how long it takes to close uh, you know, close off the threshold. The reason that there's two separate values for this instead of just one overall uh, is because the release is a little bit inconsistent. So you want the hold time to be, you know, the audio you actually want to get caught up. And the reason you want this hold time is because when you're ending your sentence, uh, you don't instantly cut off. Like in your head, you're like, oh, I stopped the sentence, I stopped speaking. But when you stop speaking, humans naturally kind of decrease in volume and, and just anything, any sound will naturally decrease. Right, so like when you're speaking, you might be at like minus five, but as you stop speaking, as you finish your sentence, that last like syllable or whatever will kind of decrease from minus five all the way down to like minus 60 or whatever, or just, just basically the point of nothingness. Uh, and then the whole time is there to catch enough of that, uh, that it'll catch the end of your sentence, but not enough that it'll catch the breath afterward or something. And uh, then the release time is just extra on top of that. And yeah, uh, that's at least how I understand things. If I was wrong about any of this stuff, please let me know in the comments. I will pin your comment if I can verify that you know, what you're saying is actually correct. I'm not trying to spread misinformation. I'm just trying to spread information. Uh, this is what I've found to be true uh, after looking at a bunch of other videos and none of which had all this information in one video, which is why I made this one. And uh, yeah, with that out of the way, hope you guys enjoyed and have a great rest of your day.